I got an email last night from that lady named Alice. You know, that had the uh, Cutco knives I did last Friday. Six Cutcos, five Cutcos, and a Chicago cutlery. Well, she emailed me. She says, Max, can you stop by Friday morning? And I have some more knives for you. I said, okay. And then she emailed me back. She says, I got my neighbor. It's got two or three knives. And the other neighbor across the street's got two or three knives. They're going to give me so I can give them to you on Friday. So it sounds like tomorrow I'm going to have plenty of action at the fair. Not from walk-ups, but, you know, from what I'm going to pick up in the morning before I get there. I don't know what the other knives look like, of course, and I don't know what she's giving me. And then I got a call from a fellow in the Navy. He's got some kind of big uh, hunting knife. Well, I don't think it's too big. He says it's about 8 or 10 inches long. It's a skinning deer-type knife. And he wants me to sharpen it for him. I gotta pick it up today around about an hour and a half, around 10, 10 or 10 30, I guess, before I go to the beach. It's a Damascus, some type of Damascus knife. Sounds like he's had it for a while. He wants to give it to somebody for a gift, but he wants it sharp before he gives it away. So I'm on my way to, well, it's 8 30 now. I'm gonna pick it up in two hours over at the thrift store where I go to look for those knives, you know. I told him I'd meet him over there. He only lives, he lives like between where I live and in between the store. So we're both going to meet in the middle, kind of like. And I'll just take a look at that baby, see what she looks like. What a Friday knife gig. Friday sounds pretty good. We're going to get some wind. We're going to get some wind today too, sounds like. South, southwest, which is good. I don't know where in the hell to go today. I got the mumbles from the last two places I've been. Had it been for that old knife I found, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done cr crap that day, you know. And I mean that's not a great, super duper fine, but I like it. That made my day for Wednesday, I guess it was. No, Tuesday. Day's Thursday. That's right. All right, stand by. I'm rambling along here. I got the mumbles at Rancho Max this morning. I got my detector on charge. I gave Jack us breakfast. The cats and Miss Chris. They're all, everybody's been fed. Now I need some gold to feed me. See you later. Bam. We're looking at some of the guru oh, stuff from the, the other chain, day. Huh? Here's that class ring he found the other day with me. He cleaned it up so you can see it's in 1979. I don't even believe I, I know what I'm seeing. <laughs> you got gold fever now, huh? Oh, I had it. I had it from day one. Look at the class. The whole quarter they found. That's as much as some rings right there. Look how heavy that class is. It was 34 ounce uh, grams. Is that real? Found this in the land of Nada the other day. Uh, no, it's not, if it was real diamonds, I wouldn't even be talking to you right now. I wouldn't even speak to you. The heart skipped two beats. Blood pressure <laughs> shot way up. Nice as shit. <laughs> shit, I, I probably have about 10,000. We're on a road trip. Guru's driving. Danny's in the back. Damn, that's an old man. That's a cool ticket right there, boy. Look at that, a Woody. Mm. 1946. 1946 Woody. Now you don't see many of them. No. <laughs> Look at them white walls on that thing. That's the way they made them back then too. Speed up a little bit, Ruth. That thing is cool. <laughs> I'll sit on it. Is it you think? I can't tell. I can't tell, but I don't know. Pontiac, I think, but I didn't think Pontiac made a Woody. Forty-six Ford. It is Fort Wool is coming up on the right. Confederate Fort Wool. Jefferson Davis. Uh, we're going in the tunnel. Okay, we're making our first appearance here. Just last year.
This will be our second hunt here ever. Stand by. Ain't got three ring. It looks like it hit somebody. Hit something anyway. I think that's ten nigger scent laying right on the sand right there. Ten nigger scent. I knew it was. I found a penny like that a minute ago. Tide is starting to get off some now. It is really trashy here. One of the worst places we hunt. Well, we don't hunt it that often, but it's really bad. And that next scout is red hot. He's dug up another ring. Yeah, another silver ticket with some kind of black stones on it. Next cow rules. Two for two. <laughs> oh, got Guru got a moon ring and a silver war bullet. He says, "Get that bullet out. Let's look oh, at it." Oh, I got more than one. Got more than one silver war bullet. Hey, you gotta give me time to talk. I leave chimneys. What's thing coming out? Oh, way down in there. You Not can too. find him silver war bullets. I can tell you that. I got one too. Oh, you got one too? Yeah. A three ringer. Ah, boy. Shit. Well, I have a fire one. Huh? Oh, yeah? Right there where my scoop is. Damn. Civil War boats everywhere. Rings everywhere. What kind of ring you get? I get a couple silver. Yeah. You got a big you silver ring. Ah, damn. Wow. You're on the meat. There's another one. Let me get him out. Four Civil War bullets. I thought y'all was getting a bunch of them. Oh, no, well, I man. find dimes and Dime. pennies. I find a couple dimes, a couple pennies, a couple nickels. Oh, there's another one. Jesus, Christmas. You can hold them in your hands. Oh, that's a nice one. You, you got that in the mud down there, Guru. right? Look at him. No, it's about mid, midway up. He yeah. just got one more in his glove. I, I got that in the start. <laughs> yeah. In search of Civil War bullets. Oh, I got that damn mood ring. That means a bad mood. <laughs> well, I'm in a good mood. I tell you what, I ain't stopped digging since I got you. Oh, you can dig all you want right down there. I mean, you'll dig your damn arms off. This is where uh, John needs to be. Gee, this is big. There's another three ringer. That's a 65. That's like the last one you found. That's a 65 caliber right there. One of them big baddie boys. I'm not Look at the difference in it. I'm not putting them back in the damn glove. I'm tired of that. that. ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to show them to you. I'm digging all that. Damn if I don't think I've dug one. My first Civil War bullet on this beach. Look at that. <laughs> ah, nice big fat three ringer. That's right. Look at that, baby. I got to find me one of them 65 calibers. A big, big chunk of lead. Three ringer. All I had to do was give it a scent. There it is. Look at that 65 caliber. As long as I've been digging relics, which ain't been long, never dug one of these. Kenny dug two. He dug one here last year and one today. That's a big bad boy right there. I'll tell you that. I'd hate to ever get hit by something like that. Can you imagine? What that would feel like, what that would do to your body. Ah, there's another one. Three ringer. Just like hunting in a battlefield. <laughs> Great, googa booga. That's all mud right now, big chunks of mud. I had a bracelet, but I broke it. Probably played it in its day. 
see it's got a nice little design on it. Hey, uh, I got a 65 caliber and a couple more bullets, but I know round balls yet. They ain't got him a nice round ball there. Yeah, man. That's the first one I've seen out of this beach. Any more rings? What? Any more rings? No more rings. How about you? I got a bunch of dimes. I got one dime, two nickels, a penny. Look at that hole right there. There's a piece of gray matter come out of that hole. Ha! I thought I was going to pass out. I don't know how deep it was. I don't know. Any more rings on that thing? Civil War button? I mean, button? I think it's a modern button. Modern button? Yeah, military button. Yeah? It's a military button, but I don't know what to think about the age on it. It just looks modern. What is it, copper? No, uh, brass. Brass? Yeah. But it don't have to be, you know, I don't know. We get it cleaned up on the back, there ought to be some marks on the back. Ran by the shank. Right. I finally got me some bullets. How many you get? I don't know, four, five, six. See, you trained me good. You got a bunch of damn golf balls. I might have been playing golf. There's a golf ball right there. Another one right there. There's two or three more right there. There's a flock of geese. Can you see them? I was hoping to dig one more three ringer. I think I just got him. We get ready to go to uh, another beach called Buckrow, but it's not too far from here. We're headed back now to the truck. Thank you, Surf God, Bullet God, somebody. I might have another one. This one's about a foot from the other one. Sounds like one. Put it that way. Now whether it is or not, I don't know. I think a couple quarters, so it might be a quarter. I see something. It's a maybe a, a modern bullet casing. No, it's a damn fuse looking, you know, connector. Golly, Jiminy. One more last sound before I go to the truck. Come on, baby. Excuse me. A penny. A crud. Damn, my penny. I got a million pennies a day. Last chance. Six feet to go. That's the right sound. Depth. Oh, it's an automobile, you see it? <laughs> a yellow automobile. Come out of there. 
you take any dough? Yeah, no wheels on one side. Oh, bad pit stop. I've never finished a race like that. What are we, what are we doing here? Oh, no. He's sifting us. through all this treasure. Where did you get an iPod? You got a or piece of it. The top of it. Oh, it's the top phone. of a flip phone. It's waterproof too. I, I drag it out. We're headed into Buck Road. Buck Road Beach. You gotta have a permit to hunt in here if they bother you. Is it? Breezy, breezy. We're out on the bay here. It was three scoops deep. Let's see what it is. It's a bigger coin of some kind. Ten bigger cent. Target number two is a low sound. Now it's got a high sound. A lot of leaves here. Look at them leaves. I think we'll dump this out here. Oh, that's a nickel it looks like. Yep, five nigger set. Mr. Denny. Denny's had the first ring. That's silver, I think. Yeah, nice. It might be a cruddy penny. No, it's a piece of damn. Yeah, just what I thought. Cancel off. Come out of there. That yeah, crap. That's not a good sign. Well, there it is, right there. Oh, pretty. I know this is going to be a fine target. Well, it does look like a coin, though. Look at that. <laughs> Must be some iron in there with it. Looks like a clad dime to me. Put in the other side of that pier looking thing now. That dime's the first thing I dug from there to here. I hope the other guys are doing better. I wanted to come over here, the other side just bulkhead. There's another pier right here like this.
I've been 14 miles. I got one dime and one penny. I got a quarter and two nickels, and the two nickels were on the surface. <laughs> I think pay. we're on a ball spot here. I, I got look at this. I, when I first saw this, I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's plastic. Plastic, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, they ain't much happening here. No. The exercise there spin. There's nothing down at the wet sand. Well, there's a preliminary roundup. We wait for Kenny we decided to take a break. It's, I don't know what it's called. It's called. Three ringers, all I know is called. The roundup. In my excitement today, I might have erred on the caliber. I thought it was a 65 caliber because I've only ever seen one before, but it's a 69 caliber. You can see how big it is compared to the 58s. There's that doodad thing. I still don't know what that is. Three quarters, uh, seven dimes, one nickel, 400 pull tabs, 600 pennies. A nice car, a fishing weight with some kind of lead doodad, a buoy or a cork or whatever you call it. One gray matter and that bracelet job. But I went over there for the ease tickets. I was not expecting that. That's a fine ticket right there. Look how big it is. Can you imagine? Good, good old mother. Well, over in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. Okay, knife gig tomorrow. Stand by. While I was eating dinner, the kid with the uh, Navy guy I was supposed to meet today, we never could get together, pick up his knife. He called and said, I'm going to bring it by your house for you, Max. I said, okay. This is a fancy ticket right here. Damascus. He says it's bought from somebody in Delaware. I got thick of it. I gotta look it up, see what I can find out about it. Arkansas Damascus, he said it was. He's been working on the blade a little bit on the edge, but it's got some rough spots right along in there. I don't think you can see them, but they're in there. It's a cool knife. I don't know if it's expensive or not, but it sure looks like it should be. We'll have to see how she turns out tomorrow. Stand by.